An officer holds a student at gunpoint at Nicolay High School. They say he claimed to get a gun. He later claimed he was joking, but police weren't laughing. Fox 6's Derricka Williams spoke with school officials and students. The incident happened Tuesday morning, but many students are upset that they are just learning about it now. Last night, a letter was sent out to only parents. However, folks are thankful that the situation didn't escalate, and it's all because of increased security measures. It's one of the first lines of defense at Nicolay High School, and this metal detector seemed to be a deterrent for a student with an unknown agenda. One of the students was acting um, a little nervous and suspicious and was about to have his backpack checked when he ran out of the building. Dan Clemensic with Nicolay says the boy ran down the street and into a tunnel near the school. Authorities went and checked the tunnel and found a knife. According to police reports, when the school's resource officer approached him trying to question him, the student became argumentative, reached into his pockets and... He uh, declared that he had a gun. Immediately, the officer drew her firearm and called for backup. This is scary. Students like Edwin Valentine were on edge, unsure of the student's intent. In the report, the student later claims he is struggling in school and hears voices and thinks people are talking about him behind his back. He denied he brought the knife to school with intent of using it to harm anyone. Regardless, Faith Moore wishes students were notified. It makes me feel very upset because I'm a student here and there's a lot of stuff that's going on um, in our world today. Um, so it's kind of scary that they didn't let us know. The student told officers he was being sarcastic about having a gun. It's a threat authorities aren't taking lightly. It's not a laughing matter. Um, we take these issues seriously and there will be some punishment if he's found to be guilty. The student was issued a citation for disorderly conduct and the school says he is not allowed back in school until the investigation is completed. He will most likely face some sort of disciplinary action from the school as well. Live in the newsroom, Derricka Williams, Fox 6 News. Derricka, yeah. thank you.